Welcome back to another Ken's Outdoors. In today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all some fish I've caught over the past couple months. Um, and I didn't make videos on them. I just got the releases on them. Um, this video is going to include pickerel, bass. I might have a few warmouth. But before I put those clips up, I want to show y'all um, something I won in a giveaway from Oki Catfishing. I won this catfish bubble gum in a giveaway from Oki Catfishing. If y'all don't know who Oki Catfishing is, make sure y'all check the description below. I'll have a link to his channel, or y'all can just check in the um, comments, because Oki Catfishing comments on almost every one of my videos. So, yeah. And I'm pretty sure he'll comment on this one. I'll actually pin the comment if he comments. But yeah, this is catfish bubble gum, and like the name says, it's like bubble gum. It's got like a bubble gum texture, as y'all can see it right there. And it isn't sticky. I can stick my finger in there and pull it right out, and it actually doesn't stick to it. It's got like a little juice that comes out, but that's to be expected. Um, it doesn't. It says all pink, no stink. It really doesn't stink. But it like has a smell to it. I wouldn't say the smell is bad. I wouldn't say it's good. It's kind of a neutral smell. It's kind of in between bad and good. But I don't know. We're going to see if we can catch some catfish on this. We maybe can. Maybe can't. If not, uh, still glad that I want it. But yeah. Um, another thing I want to show y'all is. Well, I guess I might as well go ahead and tell y'all this before I show y'all. What, what the next thing I'm about to show y'all. I've done been on the trip I was supposed to go on um, with my church youth group. I didn't get to record or fish as much as I wanted to. The fish just really weren't biting and I don't even think that it's the fish that weren't biting. I just think the ponds are overfished. Too many people fish at the ponds to go there and catch a bunch of fish. The fishing was really hard. I fished for one day straight. I fished for a, from sun up to sundown, and I caught three bass and one sunfish well pumpkin seed but I didn't even catch them in the same day I left on Friday about one o'clock I got there around three o'clock and we got settled in and I went fishing that evening and I caught three bass and one pumpkin seed in that same day okay so I go to sleep that night I get up that morning I go fishing on Saturday Fish the whole day, don't catch one fish, don't get a bite, don't see a fish. Well, no, I seen fish in the water. I didn't see any bass, I don't think. The bass, there really isn't too many bass in these ponds. I don't think there's really too many big bass or bass at that. But, I don't know, I just couldn't get them to bite if they were there. But I did catch a couple, like I said, three bass, one pumpkin seed. And the biggest bass I caught was about two pounds. Um, I would estimate about two pounds. I don't have a skill. Uh, I'm planning on getting one of those very, very soon. And I didn't get the release on him because my phone was dead. But I do have a picture of him. As y'all can see, I'm about to put it up on the screen after I show y'all this right here. But the one good thing that did come out of this trip besides an uh, amazing trip, uh, I might didn't catch no fish, but I had a great time with my youth group. Had some great... Uh, laughs with my friends. It was just all in all a good trip. I'm glad I got to go on it, but when I was walking around the pond Saturday fishing, I stumbled across a lure, uh, I would say an expensive lure laying on the ground. It is a swim bait, and I knew when I seen it exactly what it was, because I've been wanting one of these swim baits for a while. This right here is a Bass Pro Shops XPS Z9 Perch. And the color is pumpkin seed, I think, or like sunfish or sungill. Any, it's some kind of sunfish color, as y'all can see, because it's got like the orange and blue. But this is a eleven to twelve dollar swim bait, or at least it was eleven to twelve dollars last time I checked. This is a really nice swim bait. Um, as y'all can see, the hook's in really good condition. There is nothing wrong with it. It must have dropped out of somebody's tackle box, or tackle bag, or whatever they were carrying around their tackle in. Um, I would be really disappointed if I lost a lure like this, but, yeah, uh, there were, no, there were no people fishing at the pond that I was fishing at and found this, so, if they would have been people there, I would have went around and asked them had they lost a lure, because if I lost this, like I said, I would have been really just sad, They're just disappointed, I'd probably go into a deep state of depression, but yeah, 
Um, when I found this lure, it just made the day a lot better because I wasn't catching fish. Um, yeah, so yeah. Really nice bait right there. Um, and anybody that had a bait of this nature, they knew what they were doing. They knew, they know how to bass fish. Um, and most of the people there, I'm not going to lie, most of them had no clue how to fish. I just watched some of them fish and I got a good laugh from it. I know all people don't know how to fish. Well, when I say don't know how to fish, I don't put it as they don't know how to fish. Like they literally don't know how to throw a pole or nothing like that. I seen some kids, well not kids, they were like probably the same age as me, 15, 16, something like that. And they were fit bass fishing with live bluegill. And most people, when they bass fish with a live bluegill, they get like a 2-inch or maybe 3-inch bluegill. They were fishing with bluegill the size of my hand. I mean, bluegill that big, if they were fishing for 10-pounders to 11-pounders, they may would catch a fish. But I don't believe there's no fish in these ponds, 10 to 11 pounds. I mean, they, they're man-made ponds. They, they got stock, and people overfish them. I just don't think there's that many big fish in these ponds, if any big fish. Um, I went, they had a store, um, at this camp where they sold fish and stuff, and I asked the people, um, what's the biggest bass that's been caught out of here, and they said like three or four pounds. Out of all the people fishing there, the biggest bass had, that has been caught is three or four pounds, and that's the whole time the camp's been there. So, I'm thinking there's not that many big fish there. I'm thinking that two pounder I caught was kind of one of the biggest fish in the ponds. There was like five ponds, and I fished at every single one of them. But yeah, that's just my take on it. Um, I had a great trip, as I said. But hope y'all enjoyed this talking part of the video. This is gonna be the end of the talking part of the video. Um, watch y'all see next. There's just gonna be a bunch of fish releases and fish catches. There'll be some pictures, videos, just all kinds of fish. Um, I should be going fishing tomorrow. If I get up early enough in the morning, I might go do some top water fishing. I might go try out my new swim bait. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this video, or hope y'all enjoyed it. Did, did, ah, I'm sorry. Uh, this is about the third time or fourth time. No, 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 no. I've, I've tried to record this video over ten times probably, and my mouth's starting to hurt from doing so much talking. But yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed this part of the video. Hope you, hopefully y'all enjoy the next part. But until next time, hope you have some good fishing. Caught a nice chain pickerel here. We're gonna go ahead and get the release on him. Okay, so this is the only fish we caught. About a catfish here, about two or three pounds. Go ahead and get the release on him right here. Off back into the river. Okay, so I just got the first bass of the day, second fish of the day. Um, mostly what I'm doing now is just walking around this pond, and I'm about to move to another pond. I'm just doing a little bit of scouting today to see what pond I should fish tomorrow. And I just seen about a two or three pound bass leave from this area right here when I I seen this one out there cruising the surface, and I just threw the whopper plopper out there, and he just completely hammered it. So we're gonna get the release on him. Nice fish right there. Actually, there's a snake coming across the pond right there. I don't know if y'all guys can see it, but that's a snake. I just caught another bass here. The bass seem to love the whopper plopper here, so I'm going to just go ahead and get the release on him. Toss him over this edge, and this snake's going under the water. It's just a little grass snake, or uh, he's just a little green snake. He's no harm to you. I could actually get down there and grab him if I wanted to, but 